Hey guys, Carrie Sif here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Zombie Raised Buckle and Raised Buckle Holder from Kamen Rider Geats. This is a set containing a new form change raised buckle, a new Rider Core ID, as well as two holders that can be equipped to the desired driver and hold one raised buckle each. So, let's get started. First up, we'll look at the Zombie Raised Buckle and the Buffa Rider Core ID. So first we have the Zombie Buckle, which is our third form change buckle. You can see this one has a pretty kind of creepy look to it, with this kind of bone key in the back, as well as a skeleton here in the center. You've then got the belt half, or the kind of cover for the lights, which has this lightning pattern to it, as well as a metallic purple color, or I guess metallic pink in this case. So the gimmick here is that if you turn this key at the back, it will open up the ribcage and then reveal this zombie hand that then covers part of the buckle. It's a pretty cool gimmick. You can see that both the claws of the zombie hand as well as the back of the key have a slight metallic orange color. And that corresponds with the colors of the Buffa Race Buckle, or Rider Core ID, for Common Rider Buffa, as he's the main user of this buckle itself. Of course, you have the back of the buckle, which has the QR code and whatnot. Close it back up, you simply put it back in the hand, and then close back in both covers. Just like that. The out of the part set is pretty self explanatory, with it being the raised buckle holders. There are two identical pieces that have a slot here with which you equip a raised buckle, like so, and easily disconnect as well. However, the actual uh, slot itself can also be rotated. So it just clicks into place at two 45 degree angles. We can also press the button to have it either in the middle or off to one side fully or the other. Doing this, you can pretty easily rotate the uh, buckle and then pull it off. So in order to use these, these are the kind you slot into the belt rather than putting over it. Which again is a pretty simple process. You simply put in one buckle like that. The same on the other side. Get on the belt stopper. And then secure the belt back together. And then I have it with the buckle holders. And for an example of the raised buckle holders functionality, we here have the desired driver in the Magnum Boost and Geats Magnum Boost form. And so we can grip, say, the armed hammer raised buckle to one side. And then the other, you can make it something that I alluded to last time, where you can actually also equip the Magnum Shooter 40 x as it has that same kind of rail. So we can take that, place it on here like this, and now you have an extra buckle, holster to the side, as well as the Magnum Shooter, which is actually very cool because it's not very often you get to see these kind of holstering weapons and Kamen Rider. So it really adds a nice little look to the belt. I mean, it's very hard to kind of show off on camera. But it also lets you know that doing this, you get this whole functionality where you can turn this aside and then pull out. Just like that. Very nice and simple. Next, we can use our new Core ID and raised buckle with the desired driver. So we'll simply set in the buffer core ID. And we get counter buffer entry form. From there we can equip the zombie buckle.
and that's the transformation into counter buffa zombie form, his main form. And you may activate the zombie strike. And if you couldn't tell from the desired driver, it's these big buckles that have the more unique special attack sounds. We can also activate Revolve On. And from there we can start equipping other buckles. So we'll just use a couple examples. First, we'll get Magnum in here. So there we have Counter Buffa, Magnum Zombie form. Though you could hear the priority system in place where Zombie will always play before Magnum. But then you can activate the Zombie Magnum Victory. Then we'll have it revolve on. Where we get zombie magnum form. Then move that and switch in boost. Now what's cool here is that Boost actually created a bit of a special transmission for Zombie. Though it's still not quite the same as with Magnum Boost. So, we'll activate the Zombie Boost Victory. And then boost time for grand victory. You can also like to revolve on. for boost zombie form and for one more form change we'll also use it with arm tamper Then we get the Zombie Hammer Victory. And Revolve On. Finally, we'll use the Zombie Buckle with the Magnum Shooter for Zero X. Starting in handgun mode. And as you could hear, 
It read not as zombie, but as poison. So we got the poison tactical blast. And that will make a little bit more sense when we get to the eventual release of the zombie buckle's signature weapon. And of course, we can also use that in rifle mode. And there we go. So overall, this is a very solid set. This gives us our second rider core ID for a second rider to use the buckles with, as well as a new form of change buckle, which definitely adds the best types of sounds to the desired driver, and they're definitely the must-have items this season. Not to mention, we also get some very nice holders for the side of the belt, and obviously, it's not a major storage suit, but it is good for roleplay purposes, as well as just having nice place to equip called side buckles for easy swapping out of the gimmicks. Now there are two ways to obtain this set. The earliest way was actually during the first week of the show, upon the release, where there is both a individually sold or an individually sold desired driver, as well as a set that included the contents of the desired driver and this set itself, which is how I got it, but I decided to split it up so as to not make the desired driver review too long. However, by now, the individual set has also been released. So you can decide whether you want to get the big set at first, or start with that set and then get this one later. But if you have a desire driver, I'd absolutely recommend picking up this set. Next time, I'll be looking at both the Shield and Arrow Raise Buckle set, as well as the Zero One Driver Raise Buckle. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is Care of Sifty, riding off.